OK, our first stop of the new year is a little place that Rob Wiles found in Bodenham near the Alabama state line. He says it brings back childhood memories of visits to his grandmother's house with lots of cooking and conversation in the kitchen and lots of interesting stuff to explore in the rest of the house. The most often asked question is why do we put that little patch on there? And that's because so that when you turn it over, it's like patching a boy's, a little boy's overall knees, you know. What happens is that, um, yeah, it gets too thin in the middle so that when you fold it over and put it in the oil, then it doesn't uh, burst right there. So. so now you know the trick. If you want to know how to make fried pies the way they should be made, you have definitely come to the right place and the right person. Becky Yanayan, owner of the Green Valley Grocery in Bodenham, Tennessee, which is down along the Alabama state line. Becky's pies aren't the sweetest things here, though. That would have to be her personality. She loves talking to the folks who come by, sharing her secrets and learning theirs. When she decides to learn to make something, she goes all out, just like with her fried pies. After I had eaten that one at the uh church dinner. I tried to make them at home. It was disastrous. And then I tried again and again and again until I was actually able to come out with something that looked like fried pie. And um, that's been, you know, I guess close to 30 years ago that I made my first one. But most of the other recipes have been come from customers really? or places I've been and there's something that I like. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, I get the recipe and so. Like, you know, like what's like, one that one of your customers gave you that, that you uh, use? The uh, Davy Crockett bars, which is a praline uh, with buttercream filling in the middle. A customer gave us that recipe. Mm -hmm. And let's see, the molasses cookies is from another customer. Uh, molasses crinkles is the name of that. Um, so you, almost you. everything actually that we have <laughs> it came from came from customers. Everybody likes these because they're juicy, like grandma's. Yes, it's not just desserts that Becky serves up. We have uh, <laughs> sandwiches every day, soups, soups every day. We have cream cheese and olive, pimento cheese, egg salad. Egg salad is really a big seller because it's make kind all of an old-fashioned sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We make them here. Now, how does how does egg salad old fashioned? Well, because people I think associate that with taking them to school. You know, egg salad sandwich, or you know, when they were working in the fields when they were young. Uh, it's just kind of an old fashioned sandwich, oh, I think. Uh, I see. Egg salad. Mm -hmm. You can get some great food at the Green Valley General Store. You can take it home. You can eat inside, or just like many fine restaurants in the world, you can dine al fresco. This is about as fresco as it gets. <laughs> Throw it up around here so we can watch them eat it. Customers enjoy, you know, getting the sandwich or soup, or even if they don't get anything, they still enjoy being able to sit out there and talk and play in their kids, kind of play in the creek and, and uh, just to have a little peace and quiet and listen to the birds because of course I feed the birds out back so there's always a lot of birds around and it's just a nice little place to be for a while. All right, you have a good day. You too, honey. Don't work too hard. So a steady stream of customers drop by for old time peace and quiet and old time food like you might have gotten at grandma's. You know there's even a dog here, Daisy, who acts as a greeter. And there's a chance to look at other things grandma might have had around the house. We have some quilts that are from Missouri, and we have some vintage quilts that are local. And the other antiques are just from the area. Mm -hmm. um, we just pick them up here and there. Sometimes people will bring them here mm -hmm. and uh, put them in for sale. You put things in here, a craftsman may, may bring and say, can I, you mind if sells in your store. I do have do some consignment, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Our theme is uh, all, the old-fashioned taste of the South. So long as it's in keeping, you know, with that theme and it's of good value at a good price, that, that's my policy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on uh, that sort of thing. The sort of things that catch the attention of passers-by, like Tom and Kathleen Kohaney, who live in Florida, but just had to stop here. 
very interesting for me to see the handmade quilts and also the breads my husband does like to bake. So as soon as I saw the sourdough, I'm like, you've got to go in. And uh, the fried apple pies, of course, I'm very familiar with those also. So just very interesting. Really the place, the peace, the pies, all things to see and experience. But the best part of Green Valley is almost certainly Becky herself, who really does make you feel like part of the family when you come here. And to her way of thinking, you are. That's been one of the great things of having the business is that you meet people from everywhere. And that's that's what I like too. Of course, you know, I enjoy seeing all the local people, but you know, it's just a plus when you get people stopping in from, you know, um, other countries, other states. And I like to hear their stories about where they're going, you know, somebody, you know, what they're out doing for the day. Mm -hmm. It's just interesting. It just really adds to your life.